After seeing what you can do with the new STM32U5s and their Neochrome VG GPUs, let's see how developers are able to get a bump in performance with the new two STM32H7s, the STM32H7R and the STM32H7S. Both feature ST's fastest Cortex-M7 core at 600MHz. Both also provide greater flexibility thanks to a thoughtful approach to embedded and external memories. First, we have provided high-speed serial and parallel memory interfaces to support popular memories with high bandwidth capabilities. Indeed, creating high-performance applications often require large memory needs that are beyond the MCU internal capacities. Cost is also critical to transform innovation into a commercial success. Knowing this, ST has decided to do two things to help the developers. First, we provided high-speed serial and parallel memory interfaces to support popular memories with high bandwidth. Second, ST included a large SRAM for the most real-time code and data, and 64 kilobytes of internal boot flash. What is boot flash? It is a flash that can house the entire boot sequence. Unlike other MCUs where the bootloader resides in read-only memory, the embedded boot flash provides a lot more flexibility and easiness to boot and configure the product. Why 64 kilobytes only? Because it brings a real cost advantage, making the STM32H7R and the STM32H7S the most affordable STM32H7s ever. At the same time, engineers get more design freedom on memory type and capacity. It's the ultimate way to future-proof an application. It facilitates the management of field firmware updates and feature releases. It can even help with security as there are fewer memory constraints. The new STM32H7s also provide greater security freedom. Those with classic security, like code protection and lifecycle management, will enjoy the STM32H7R. However, those with the higher security standards will benefit from the STM32H7S. The STM32H7S is the first STM32H7 that targets CSIP Level 3 and PSA3 certifications. It's also the first STM32 microcontroller to offer on-the-fly encryption on top of on-the-fly decryption. Finally, developers have the freedom to choose between a general purpose line, the STM32H7R3 and the STM32H7S3, and a graphic line, the STM32H7R7 and the STM32H7S7. The graphic line features the Neochrome GPU, which offloads graphical tasks like rotation or scaling. As a result, it becomes possible to create rich UIs in HD and still have enough CPU to run real-time tasks like EJI or communication applications. Put simply, the new STM32H7R and STM32H7S are opening up new innovation possibilities thanks to a scalable and secure boot flash microcontroller for industrial, medical, and consumer applications. Now, let's see how the European company Festo uses the STM32H7 series in a real-world application.